Stead. Mr. Hunting. Yeah, I'm George Hunting Ford. I served 22 years up here in these chairs. In 1963, I was elected Vice President of the State Association. In 64, I served as President of the State Association Commissioners. And then Governor Evans, the Governor of Emmy, says, George, you're one of 50 in the United States. It was a big honor for Jefferson County. They never had a president before. They used a King County or Pierce County guy. But I'm in here to greet you fellows and meet the new commissioner. But I've got a problem out there, and it's a problem that's been dragging on for a long time. I, I say we, the honey forge clean the mile of the shop and the supervision of the fisheries in 1987. And I leveled the banks all off so you could have planted potatoes or peas there. And they wanted us to plant trees. And I said, if we get trees, I got one field there where they get up 40, 50 feet and the hay won't dry. You can't hardly dry the hay. So I agreed to give them wild roses or hardack brush or salmon mary brush to set out along the coast so we can get in and clean it. Well, now they're setting trees out in front of a lot of it on my son's place, and then trees get out, how are you going to clean the creek out? They figured it never cleaned out, but I want, I'm here today to invite you commissioners, an assessor, an engineer to come out and look this problem over, because it's been flooding us out, we can't, I got young fellows who want to rent 10 or 20 acres, put the garden stuff in, and you know what the food situation looks like in the United States today? I'm anxious to help them out, but if you can't, if it's so lucky, you can't plow it, what are you going to do? My boys had to quit dairy and kind of good, they got flooded out. So I'm, that's all, I don't want to take all of your time. I just want you to know that there's a problem there. I showed it. You got your uh, guy in the highway department the other day. He agreed with me. You look at that culvert, when we did it in 87, I said, well, we'll put some culverts in where the wooden bridges were. Oh, no. They'd rather have us build the wooden bridges back, which is fine. I built a wooden bridge in my place. I built a wooden bridge in my son's place to the north. And then the next place to the north, the yard estate, they put a big culvert in. I don't know who gave them permission because he told us to build wooden bridges. And the big culvert would be great if they would it down that's cocked up just like this like that, and it's got about two foot, like a two foot dam behind it. Go back up the creek for a thousand feet, and you measure it in the middle of the summer, and the water's two feet like that, and it's warm as little fish are dying in. Needs attention. Thank you. <laughs>